Hello and welcome to the new video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a very cool legend team here with Shadow Flygon, which I also already had in my top team video there as well. Shout out to you. But also, today we're going to take a look at a very good team. Like, honestly, this team is amazing. This team really is a great team to run. But apparently, there's been an update on Pokemon Go over the night, at least for me today. And I saw a lot of people on Twitter say the same as well where the game was completely broken. It is not on every phone like this. It could be still the same for you like where it was before, like yesterday. But um, apparently there are some phones, mine included sadly, where the game is broken since today. And you haven't really seen me complain too much about like fast move, to, like not fast move, to, but just generally like lag, frame drop, stuff like this. Yes, they were like the odd one, but there is basically one in every battle. And there are a lot of them. They're very, very decisive. And like a lot of times where I just don't even get any fast move through. And there were battles, which you're going to see here today as well. I don't really, I actually, usually I try to cut out those battles where it's like down to lag. Because like, what else are we going to show? But I can still want to showcase this kind of stuff here today as well. So you're going to see a lot of battles that are coming down to lag. Some very weird issues with the game. And so I just want to make this video as well to a show you a very good team. I would really recommend you to give this team a try. I would be way, way better with this team if it wasn't for Niantic. But also I kind of want to showcase to you that if you are suffering from lag, and PvP, you're not the only one. You're not the only one. Not every battle here had issues. Don't get me wrong, there are some that were working fine as well, especially towards the beginning when I tried out the team. The longer I played this team, the more lags were occurring. Um, but yeah, this team definitely, from what I've seen so far, from what I've played so far, is a very strong team to run. Like, definitely a team I would recommend you to give a try. We're going to have the Shadow Flygon here, of course, as the main pick for this meta. Very nice to have Shadow Dragon Tail damage, but also still the coverage for the ground typing. And I would definitely say that this is going to be one of the top teams that I've played so far for the Open Auto League. And as you can see here, first battle is going to be a win for us as well. So, moving on to the next opponent. Are we going to see here, this, for example, is one of the battles where something happened as well. I remember this battle against Scaffold. Very good player, very good player. We see already some like there in the beginning. Of course, frame drops are a little bit less obvious for you than it is for me because the battles are sped up by 1.8 times. So, basically, half of the frame drops that you see here, like it's double the amount of time that is passing for me. So, like for me, the game was frozen for a longer period than you can see it here. So, if that's here frozen for like one second, it was frozen for two seconds for me, which of course has a way bigger impact impact in the long seeps. Um, as you can see here as well, we have the uh, great matchup against Driftblim. Everything looks kind of okay. We can swap out of here. Everything is totally fine. We are going to be able to um, yeah, go for a shield here against the opponent. Great play by Scaffo as well. Scaffo, one of the best players in the world, by the way, right now as well. So not really too surprised about this one. Very, very strong player here. We're going to be able to go for the Dragon Claw. And yeah, we're going to try to go for another Dragon Claw, which didn't work out. All good still. Like nothing really happened other than like two frame drops that I saw in the beginning, which did impact my swapping and did impact that the opponent got a little bit more moves off there I wanted to. But you literally saw me here clicking onto the Dragon Claw and I lose seeing P-Tai. Flygon has like plus 10 more attack than the opponent. I was lucky that there's a Pokemon in the back that I am going to be able to hard wall, but I sure won the seeing P-Tai so easily there. Like literally, unless it's like a super high in tech invested Driftlim, I'm not even too sure if this would even work out. I should have been able to get the Dragon Claw off against the opponent as far as I know because I looked it up afterwards. And the matchup is not even close. Like Flygon is just having a way higher attack set of course than Driftlim. And um, yeah, for whatever reason, I was not able to get my charge move through. And like those kind of things can be very impactful. Again, I was very lucky the last um, battle there that there was a Pokemon in the back that I was able to hard wall. But um, it really cost me a lot that I didn't get the charge move through there because otherwise I either got the shield from the opponent or I get the knockout and have still a ton of energy on my Flygon. And like this, of course, I just get rid of my Flygon and don't get anything from all the energy that I found up previously. This is something that's going to happen here quite often as well. Like those like scenarios happened quite often where we were not able to get the moves off. There were also battles with a different team that I tried before. Um, I tried before a team around Staraptor. And um, basically, I went 0-3 with this team and then just dropped the team. But it was not the team's fault. To be fair, I would have been able to win two of those matchups for just yeah, non-Niantic bucks, basically. There was one time, for example, I lost because my Staraptor lost CMP tie against a Reggie Steel. I'm not too sure if this is going to be the case usually, but it's never like it's not even like not even in theory possible that this would ever happen. Um, but yeah, this stuff just happens quite often recently, apparently, but only all since the recent update. So like everything kind of started today for a lot of people. I saw it on Twitter as well. I was like, huh, I didn't really have the issues recently. Now I have the issues. Anyway, next opponent, great deed for us, right? Yeah. 
most likely, but we will never find out what actually going to happen. I changed my UEFA then again, I tried everything, the game never started. And that's an instant loss, like, and like the thing is as well, yes I dropped quite heavily with this team here, but I dropped because mainly the game was broken, like literally the game was broken, there are going to be some more battles coming in, which is for example one of this battle here as well, where you're going to see that frame drops really can cost you battles. This game here is going to look very solid for me so far. We're going to have the Licky Licky against the opponent's Lantern. We had a little bit of lag already before, just like a tiny bit. Didn't really make too much of a big difference there as well. Of course, it's like I, I, I just find it wild that at this point, I think it's like four years now since the Go Battle League got released. We still didn't have a time where there was no lag at all. I feel like that's kind of ridiculous to be fair. But as you can see, we're still going to be in a solid spot. And I make a little bit of a mistake here, actually. I can say that as well. I made a little bit of a mistake here. I should we'll go for the Shadow Ball here again. I decided to go for the Body Stamp, though. Thinking that they might want to use a Shield here or anything like this. But I should have went for the Shadow Ball. Would have knocked them out. I can swap out. And I thought that the Dragon Tail would be able to knock them out here. We have to use Shield here now. All fine. Look at this now. Look, literally, you saw it there as well. Like, the frame up there. This small frame drop was like two seconds or something like this in real time and I didn't get actually the fast moves through there. I checked the footage afterwards for this um, time there and the opponent actually, like, he watches my stuff. Um, he's like a big channel supporter for like ages already, like shorts to you as well. I always appreciate playing against you, it's just always kind of unfortunate that stuff like this happens. But this gave the opponent around three turns extra with the, for the Swamp Pit there to farm up extra. And I also didn't get an extra move off, which I most likely would have been able to get off otherwise. You see some more like coming in there as well. Um, the three extra turns are super crucial because like this, the opponent is not going to be in a position where I am forced to go for that fly now, otherwise I'm going to lose anyway because the opponent had too much energy. Now they can go for two charge moves anyway and there was nothing I could have done there. The opponent just had too much energy on the swamp, but it's just unfortunate. And trust me, they're going to be in more battles like this. And it's just like kind of sad because again, the team here, the legend team that we have, it's honestly a very good one. I would really recommend you to give it a try. I think Shadow Flygon is phenomenal in the current meta, but again, it's not the issue of the team, it's not the issue even of me this time around a lot of times. It's mainly the issue of Niantic being Niantic. But yeah, let me know in the comment section. I would really appreciate it to get some feedback. How is the game currently for you? Like, do you have the same issues that I have? Is it like great or whatever? I know that for a lot of iOS people, usually bugs are not as severe as it is for um, Android people. I'm an Android person, so like I have a lot of the bugs, which kind of makes me want to uh, maybe get an iOS device just for recordings, to be fair. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't really like the iOS um, yeah, framework, basically. I'm not really the biggest fan of it, but um, it does make a lot of sense in terms of optimized gameplay for PvP, so I might have to do this in the future. But I just find it kind of ridiculous as well that you're kind of getting forced to buy a specific phone in order to play PvP with the least amount of lag. And I don't know, like it's just... It's like not even that complex. Like if it was like some crazy animation or whatever, like you literally have like some birds that are flapping the wings in a loop here the entire time going up against each other. I don't really see the point why things are like they are here right now. But I can go ahead and go for the bait against the opponents. Um, Magnazone, get the shield. That worked out quite well for me. And I should hopefully be able to still go for another charge move, even if they're going to be able to go for two um, mirror shots here, I still should be okay. Yeah, I still should be able to survive another mirror shot here. Even though we're both shadow, mirror shot is not a great move. And as you can see, they're going to still get the attack drop, which I don't really care too much about because I can still go ahead and go for my own charge move. Allowing us to knock them out, we can swap out here, go for the fly, win the battle, and we can move on to the next opponent. So, let's see on how this back battle is going to go here. Melma on the lead. Let's see if we're going to see some, at least some nice gameplay here where there's everything going to work out like it's supposed to. Let's find out. Everything okay so far. We're going to be able to use a shield against the opponent. This is going to be a foul play that is coming through. And we are going to try our best to go for another Dragon Claw here. This is going to be okay. As we will see here that the opponent decides to use a shield, we can go for another Dragon Claw. And to be fair, I kind of would want to swap out of here now in this situation because I kind of would like to keep my Pokemon. Apparently, I misticked there. I, you saw me trying to swap out. I think I went actually one time onto the Pokemon, but it just didn't work out. But so far, so okay. We will see the Licky Licky against the Warren again. I think we had a little bit of frame drops here as well coming up soon, but like nothing too crucial, nothing too game changing as well. I see a spear coming through. We're going to try to go for a Shadow Ball soon. That's totally okay. The opponent goes to their own um, Icicle Spear. I don't really mind this at all. We can go for the Shadow Ball. 
all totally fine. It's going to do around like half of the opponent's health to get off course with the fast move that damage that we have already. And now we just need basically one more Shadow Ball to hopefully get the knockout. And so everything actually seems very okay for this battle so far. I actually don't know if there's anything going to be happening. It's going to be a Gaston in the back. Oh, you see a little bit of frame drops there, but it's not really too impactful as well. I don't think it actually had any impact to be fair at this point. As we will see, we're going to get them kind of low. Now it's down to Talonflame against Gaston. If they have Water Pulse, we're going to lose. If they don't, we're going to be fine. There was actually Team before with Talonflame that I played and got up against the gas and they actually were running water pulls and they just completely one shot me so yeah that was not really great but we can now move on to the next opponent as they're not running the move that i'm scared of and we're going to be in a great position now that we can just take the hit and farm them down and so we can move on to the next opponent by the way, currently also, while you're most likely watching this, there is currently the LAIC going on. And if you're going to connect your, I think it's like some Pokemon account or something to Twitch, you're going to be able to get a free Elite here. What you have to do for that is just watch the LAIC stream for 30 minutes. That's something that you definitely can do right now as well. It is going to be limited, I think. I think it's only going to be for the first day here. So like when you watch this video, I think LAIC still should be going on, but I'm not too sure about it. Let me actually check real quick on how long it's currently on already. Um, but yeah, that's definitely something that I do on the side right now as well to get a free Elite TM. It's currently only going on for two hours and 16 minutes at the current time of recording, but I think you still should be able to get the free Elite TM um, as well. And I'm very certain afterwards it's going to be also a restream, and I think the restream usually works for that task as well. So um, if you want to have some Twitch drops for free Elite TMs, this is going to be the easiest way of doing it. I would really recommend you, to, by the way, also to follow that Pokemon Go channel um, on Twitch because there are a lot of tournaments going on. I always like to enjoy, like I really enjoy like, watching those, definitely. It's like the highest level of gameplay that you can watch for Pokemon Go PvP. And I really hope that they're going to expand on it some in the future. So yeah, definitely hop over to twitch.tv slash Pokemon Go. And you're going to be able to get a free Elite TM for that one if you watch 30 minutes of that live stream. Anyway, we're going to see here the Gaston coming in against us. We're going to be able to go for the full farm now. We have a ton of energy. We can go for a double fly and we should be able to win the battle here as well. And so we can now move on to the next opponent afterwards. Well, as you're going to see here, the opponent is going to let the move go through, go down and we can move on. Flygon against Gastrodon. That is going to be great here. That's going to be an interesting matchup. What do we do here? We're going to go for up to a Scorching Sand and then swap out to catch a move here. Very likely going to be a Body Slam because they know on how squishy our lead is. And so it barely does any damage. We can now get a nice advantage in terms of the Body Slams and Shadow Balls as well. As they're going to go into the Melting, usually I'm in an advantage now because I have a ton of energy and I would be able to align the clock like I want to. The issue is I don't have anything to swap into Melting. I don't have a fighting type Pokemon, and so we are kind of stuck in this matchup here until the end of time, basically. And we're gonna try our best to just go for the body slam spam. And this is kind of a nice opportunity for me to just say thanks for all the support on the channel. I really appreciate it. I'm so thankful, still, while like the game is lagging or whatever, I'm still so thankful that I can still do the stuff here that I am doing. Um, as yeah, I just really enjoy it. Like, I really enjoy it. I still have a lot of fun doing videos for YouTube. Um, and I see like other people quitting the game and stuff like this, which I also totally understand, especially after all those years and after, yeah, not really the greatest period in Pokemon Go. I still have a lot of fun here, unless the opponent survives with one HP, of course. No, but generally speaking, I have a lot of fun. You are one of the main reasons why I have so much fun. So I just wanted to say thank you again for taking your time to watch my videos. It really, really means a lot to me. Anyway, let's rage a little bit more about the game here. We're going to use a shield against the opponent's Dragonite. And I am not too sure. The opponent stopped out here. So we should have a little bit of a fast move advantage. And also, we're going to be able to go for a double fly. Double fly costs together 15, uh, not 15, 25 turns. Um, and the opponent needs 26 for two Dragon Claws. How is he going to be able to go for a Seam Peter here if they lost one turn already in the beginning for swapping? I don't think this is supposed to be happening here. But not only this. This is the end of this game. There is nothing ever going to happen here right now anymore. This is literally it. And I am going to make a cut here real quick because I forgot to cut it out. But the game just completely froze here. I'm still very certain I would have been able to win this battle no matter what. But this is the game we're playing right now. So hopefully you know, understand as well where my issues are. Next issue is going to be this matchup. Look at this. What we want to do here is we want to go for some Dragon Claws, but you see already the lag there as well. I want to swap out the entire time to Licky Licky, but the game was just so frozen. And now I'm so far behind in the final matchup that the super power of course is going to be a lot of damage. It should never come through because I want to swap out way earlier before. Now I got rid of my lead. I got rid of my best 
like Pokemon here as well for the ends, I guess, against the opponent. And it's just super annoying. I just really, really dislike um, those kind of things. Like for PvP, you see it on my channel as well. Like every single time I lose from the opponent playing better than me or anything like this, I give the opponent credit for this. I'm totally happy with it. I accept it. That's totally fine. That is never an issue for me. It's not about losing. For me, it is just so infuriating if you lose because the game is just completely buggy. That's the one issue that I really have with the game that really makes me not like playing the game. But yeah, it's still going to be fine. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know a little bit of a rant here most of the time, but it's down to the current state of the game. It's more like for you to know yeah, maybe be a bit careful today. Maybe if you see a lot of lag, leave it for the day or two. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this still here. If you did, feel free to leave a like. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.